love me, yeah, they love me. First love yourself. For that. And God we trust, trust me. I don't trust myself. Your yeah, jewelry, I get it took. No Welcome back to It Is What It Is. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. The app is an easy way to make some cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than 30 states, including California, Florida, Texas, and New York, just to name a few. Make sure to support the show by hitting the link in the bio and downloading the Underdog Fantasy app. You'll also match your first deposit up to $100, and you get a special pick when you sign up. I'm Treasure Wilson, a.k.a. Stat Baby, along with your hosts, Mace and Pam. What's up, man? Killer, what's good, man? I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Man, Better man. than I look, you, you know. Sun? Your ring? Yeah, oh, man. Right, go. yeah. All right, you want gold yeah, ring today? Yeah, I had to go gold today. All right. All right, Got man. family in the house. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll just, as long as it's coordinating. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's coordinating, man. Yeah. Looking nice, man. Glasses, yeah. ring. Okay, blue and gold today. You know. That's what's up. For Golden State. What happened? For, for Golden State. Y'all smacked my 50 yeah. last night, man. That was bad. That was horrible. I, that was really bad. They beat them niggas like they ran off with the work. Yeah, yeah. They, they beat them bad. <laughs> Stuff in them ain't even played the second half. I know. I know. That was bad, man. We'll get yep. to it, though. We'll get yeah. to it. We'll get to that later. But today we are joined with a very special guest, Bill Haney. Bill. Hey, hey. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, hey thank Good. you. Thank you for stopping by, man. Hey, thank, hey, thank you guys for having me. Um, it is what it is. So I had to come. Oh, you man. know what I mean? And I, the best way that I feel that I can stay on them guys' helmets that I've been on lately yeah. is to come see two famous, legendary Harlem. Oh, man. You Thank did? you, bro. We yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Bill, yeah. you got the shoot on, too. Yeah. You came clean. Yeah, you looking hey, clean, balls. man. Yeah, I feel, yeah. I feel underdressed right yeah. now. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize everybody was coming so clean, man. I ought to keep a tie in the car, man. No, looking but good. you know that's what you guys are representing. You bring this element to sports and we love it, you know what I mean? You suited up, suited and booted, talking plenty of shit, representing, you know what I mean? So it's an honor and a pleasure to come over here with you guys. Oh, we appreciate that, man. Yep. Thank you so much. So a lot's been going on lately. Yeah. We got the fight coming up. What's the actual date? That okay, it's, it's April 20th. It's uh, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia mm -hmm. and, the, and the ultimate rubber match. Um, it was 3-3 as amateurs, and now it's game seven. It's the one that counts, right. and we're looking forward to it. It's been a lot of a lot of going back and forth, but uh, April 20th, uh, it will be decided. Uh, it's 420. It's all smoke, Cam. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 It's all smoke. smoke. Yeah. So we know it's in New York, but Ryan's been teasing that it may not be in New York. Is it definitely going to be in New York 100%? Because I know he was talking about Man, Vegas any possibly. nigga trying to get big in the game, you will. You do not say that it's not going to be in New York if everybody's yeah. saying it's going to be in New York. Okay. Yeah, the one thing about California niggas, especially me in particular, I know that you can be big in California, but until you did it in New York, you ain't did it, yo. Gotcha. So, um, you know, we come into the city, in Brooklyn in particular, we fought in Madison Square Garden, but it's it's a pleasure to be at the Barclays, right. and uh, we're looking forward to it. And Ryan, you can't get out. <laughs> can't get out. No, he, he you can't know where to go. You locked in. Locked I think it's in. been like 10,000 um, seats sold, right. um, you know, so to back out on, on 10,000 New Yorkers, right. it would be uh, – Suicide, career suicide. Right. Mm. Yeah. Well, the one you, thing, guys, murder. I'm sorry. Yeah, you see him. You see him trying to skate out. Um, you know what? I think that it's a lot of uh, mental warfare that's going on. You know what I mean? But um, we built for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. um, you know, you signed a contract. You know, as a professional, this is what we do. Yeah. This is something that, as um, Team Haney and uh, DHP and Devin, uh, we want the world to know that we're dependable. We can be accountable. Um, you know what I mean? And he's the future and, and the, the face of the sport. Gotcha. Look, we talked a long time ago because you and my uncle know each other. And you was telling me how, this was years ago, you was telling me how you took Devin around the country to fight everywhere, not just in one particular spot. I remember this conversation. Yes. What was your thought process behind that saying, you're not just going to fight in Oakland. We're going to fight around the country to see where we're at with our skill-wise as he was coming up. Absolutely, well, my thing, my whole theory in that was that I wanted him to know that every man puts on them pa their pants one leg at a time. It's no hood, nowhere that's different that makes nobody different. Allah has always given us all certain gifts and it's about your talent and how hard you work. 
Right. You know, so we was pulling up on them. You know what I mean? We right. went to <laughs> we went to Baltimore, of course, in that legendary sparring with uh, Tank Davis when he was 14 at the Upton Gym. Right. We knocked on Shakur Stevenson's door in Newark, right. um, you know, for that work over there. Went to, to Brooklyn, um, down there with Richard Hitchinson and, and – uh, 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 Shoo Shoo and Zab Judah and them, you know what I mean? And of course, Billy Giles, legendary Billy Giles, home. Yeah. a trainer and coach to Hector Camacho. Yes. You know, one yes. heck of a man. You know, yes. he's so under- uncle killer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's- <laughs> I told you it's Kevin. I mean, it's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, right. yeah, we don't know everything about each other. <laughs> so, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad yeah, it's man. true, you know? Yeah, this kid right here, yeah. boy. I'm, this is from coming from the graphic designer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, about captain. Yeah. But, yeah, but one thing that, yeah, but one thing that uh, Coach Billy always said that stuck with me, and I don't know if it's a New York way or whatever, he said, it's not how much you can give, it's how much you can take on that given night. You know what I mean? So um, you got to be really built for this game, right. both um, inside and outside the ring. So back to Ryan Garcia, I think that he's using as much uh, – you know, um, uh, mental warfare mm-hmm. um, as he can. And I hope yeah. that it's not distracting him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. As much as it's irritating him out of us. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. And I, I can say, okay, if that's what you're trying to do, right. listen, you didn't irritate the fans. You didn't irritate it to, you know, the promoters. Right. So I would be lying if I said he ain't irritated us. So, right. you know what I mean? Whatever he's doing is working. But on that particular night, I know that Devin will be focused uh, for you know, to make any adjustment that uh, Ryan brings to the game. What I was thinking about it, and I, we talked about it last week briefly, it's the perfect melting pot, you know, because Spanish people are going to come buy tickets. The black people come buy tickets. I, I think y'all going to sell out. I think the numbers are going to be really good in New York City. Yeah, Absolutely, but this, it's just a megaphone that's in New York. If you if you ever, and, I, and I'm all for bringing boxing back um, to, to the city right. of New York, because if you're talking about fight week or the week before – the fight, and you can actually get out and and promote and uh, invite what I call invite the world to the event. Mm-hmm. And one kid can go this way, and another kid can go that way. Oscar goes to the Latin market, of course. I do as much as I can, you know. And it's just mm-hmm. a great team and a great opportunity for us to introduce this fight to the world. And the best place to do it is in the media capital, New York. Gotcha. That's good. I wanted to ask you a question. You said you said Devin was fourteen in that tape, right? Yeah. No, right. Uh, okay. He was he was sixteen in the one with that we saw with Tank and Devin. Um, but I'll, I put in slow mo, and it wasn't all that we saw. You know. So let's be clear, real quick, before yeah. Mace asks his question. Mace is about to ask a question about some footage that just got leaked. Okay. With um, just for our audience, uh, yes. with some footage that just got leaked between Tank and Devin. Where it looks like Tank is getting the best of Devin, so makes I just want yeah. everybody to understand. What how you're old actually. was how old was was Tank? Tank was because I figured Tank is like four years older than Devin, so he might have been twenty, and Devin was sixteen at different times. Maybe he was twenty-one. You know, had he had any like professional fights? Did Devin? Devin have- had had not had any professional fights, but Tank was was a pro, and Devin had sparred him before that when he was fourteen. And, and the Upton gym, where I took him before the world knew who Tank was. Of course, I knew who he was as being a, a standout amateur and just a bad motor scooter, you know? Yeah. And um, so we didn't just go knock on just regular Schmegler's doors, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. We knocked on the guys that was putting in the work, you know? And um, Ryan was one of them. We went to Victorville, um, you know, for him as well. Yeah. So um, to answer your question, yeah, he was uh, a pro, and Devin was just – um, just finishing up with amateur boxing. We had won all the youth tournaments and all that at 17 and 18, but he was too young to go to the Olympics. So instead of us going to the Olympics, we decided to turn turn pro, and we spent maybe 16 to 17 around that time um, just per- perfecting a pro style and, and making the transition from the amateur style. So, so hypothetically, we don't know who put the tape out there, but who do you think put the tape out there? Well, I mean, hypothetically, <laughs> I mean, if we're saying hypothetically, <laughs> you know, because it was only his gym, yeah. you know, the guy, you know, that could have hypothetically put it out, <laughs> you know, um, because it was, no, it was actually uh, Floyd Mayweather's gym, and I respected Devin at that time, being 16 years old, um, that he could only take. And he told, he made the announcement like he does before anything, is everybody put their phones up 
And um, so if it would have been anybody filming, um, a 16-year-old and a 20-year-old, it would have been disrespect to him because it was his house. And um, But it was cool. It was dog, it was doghouse rules, you know what I mean? Um, you know, that tradition where they start beating on the the, uh, the yeah, ropes right. and all yeah. that stuff, everything that everybody saw, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, me and the About Billions team uh, put some money on, on, on it, you know? Um, Adrian Broner's dad and one of the other coaches, Levi, we bet on it, you know, just to, uh, cause it was, it was so tense in the air, you know, and, yeah. um, and I believe in my son and I'm sure they believed in Javante. So we put some money on that. Who was going to stop first? I said, I said, my guy, ain't, my kid ain't, we didn't been everywhere. Mm -hmm. If he was going to stop then, you know what I mean? It would be yeah, what it was. So, um, I think what you guys saw and, and I think with content creators and anyone that's been in this business, yeah. It was eight. It was like a Javante Davis highlight film. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. Of eight or nine different transitions and clips all jumbled in. And I said, okay, well, if you if you are what I think you are, the former face of boxing, yeah, you definitely need a highlight film to get back on here for why people say that you ducking. Why a guy come on here suited and booted and say he's a Bama <laughs> right. and your team y'all playing with the people by pissing on the head and telling them it's raining. That y'all in sparred. Mm. Devin got all the belts. He got people. We got fans. But you continue to say that this matchup is not something that we're going to do for boxing. Well, I'm here on it is what it is with Cam and Mace yeah. applying pressure. Yeah. With them lames. So outside of that, what's going on with you and Floyd? Besides, besides that, what's the tension between y'all this last month or two that I know about. Well, I mean, it's, I don't think that it's any tension. Okay. I think like it is, it is what it is. And it's mm -hmm. about time that someone tells the truth on honestly what it is. Right. What is it? It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Take the L out of love, it's over, brother. <laughs> like he said, is it not over? Hypothetically, it's time. You know what I mean? It's to over knock for it who? Off. It's the Devin Haney era. You know what I mean? And the way that you're... What you're saying you're, is not to cut you off, Bill. I'm sorry. Just so we're clear. You're saying, Floyd, stop. It's over. Knock it off, that, Floyd. It's a dub. That's it's, what you're yeah, saying, basically. Yeah. You had your time. You're still poking yeah. your nose in other people's business. Yeah. Let us do what we doing and you, and go over here and do what you've been doing. Is that what you're saying? Right. Okay. Right. And 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 all the time that you didn't check money, if, it's some, if I'm lying, then sit somebody over there next to me and tell me that I am, other than you. Other than Floyd. You know right. what I'm saying? It's got to be a real nigga somewhere that didn't check a bunch of money that's looking amazing that can sit on that side and say, you know what I mean? Floyd, you really did it for us. You did it for the culture. You did it for the people. You know what I mean? But I think it's a documentary coming out that's saying surviving Floyd Mayweather, produced <laughs> and directed by yours truly. Bill Haney? <laughs> surviving Floyd Mayweather. Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically. Hypothetically. <laughs> 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 Hey, but but the reason Let's why go, Bill. the reason why hypothetically that it was brought to me that I could possibly be considered hypothetically. That's yeah. why you got this suit on. Yes, yeah. yes. you're here to do business. Got I'm here to do business hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the reason why I can speak this way is because I've not been affected. I didn't go for the fried ice cream. Yeah. You know what I mean? He hasn't did anything to me that hypothetically others. Or saying that's been done to them, so I'm able to come on here and then not be like, um, what what Bill is disgruntled. Bill feels some type of way. No, I'm just telling the truth. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So on a boxing note, that because that's hypothetical. Let's yes. talk about what really did happen. That I heard that Floyd and Devin sparred. Is that yes. real? Yes. Is that no hypothetical? No hypothetical. And I mean. Um, normally, traditionally, when Floyd does spar anyone, and I, and I, and I do want to say I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity for Devin to spar him, and when they sparred, it could have went both ways. Devin could have gained a lot of confidence that he did by pitching a shutout, 6-0, or... Pitching a shutout? 6-0. Six rounds, no Devin. No hypothetical. No hypothetical. Not no at all. hypothetical. No, Bill, Bill. not at all. You know, people people look to me to tell the truth, Bill. What well, is what it is. And the thing about it, <laughs> no, it is what it is, for real. And the thing with, what about it is if there's somebody, then invite them to sit right there. 
I've been saying this for years. You see so what I mean? You, you prefer Lennon Ellaby be <laughs> sitting right there while you're saying this? He won't do it. Can't do it. You see what I mean? Because one thing that you can't, that, that's, it's platforms like this with brothers like you that we can come out and speak the truth. We can come out and invite the guy to sit here. Right. Before, with, with, when, when we didn't have platforms like this, the promotion was being controlled by what we call now old media and the narratives that was mm. created. And we weren't able to, like you guys, you guys weren't able to get necessarily that write up in this particular publication when your album was coming out that someone else would get. Yeah. Right. See, so now I can pull up, man. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, so yeah, that but um Back that to was definitely match. Well, well, that was me. definitely that was definitely a um um a pivotal point in Devin's career and my way of looking at Devin because I had never seen no one do Floyd like that. Right? Wait, because wait, wait, wait. Do Floyd like that? Pause. What do you mean, do you Floyd? You gotta realize like, we're not there. Give yeah, me, okay. we're not give like us, give okay, us so, a, we never heard so, of nothing like okay, this. Okay, so so, so, so okay, so okay, so they're they're sparring, right? And of course I'm in the corner with Dev and I'm telling Floyd, I said, Floyd, it's like you end up looking in a mirror. Mm -hmm. Everything that you're doing, he can see it. He's doing, he's reacting to it in a way that he studied this for so long that he can see it coming. And if you ask Devin, Devin says it was like it was like um, like a deja vu or like a crazy experience that Floyd couldn't do nothing to him. You know what I mean? And um, I think after the sixth round, Floyd dropped and he rolled out the ring. And, you know, he gave he dapped him up. We got a picture, infamous picture of them two together. Um, and and then that was it. Well, um, he did, never did, did ask for anymore. Did that happen before he started, like, working with no, him? That was, before Con that was, that was uh, right before the Conor McGregor fight. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So I think that that's what that's – was a, sol a solidification to Fo Floyd, or it solidified that um, the torch had been passed, and rightfully so. I was thankful that it was my son, and that um, you know that they didn't do round seven or eight. Right, got you. I don't think Floyd would admit that though. Do you think Floyd yeah, would say that he passed the torch? Yeah, that's I was looking at you. Because no, because this is we. I love no, we, ain't, we listen. It's not up. For, we're taking the torch. If you don't yeah, pass this yeah, motherfucker, yeah. we will take it. <laughs> uh, Floyd can get in there, and and he can get in there right after Tank. Tank can get in there first, or Floyd, or anybody that he got. I don't if he, you know. I don't know. He got a lot of money. He can go buy it and go find it somewhere. Some find somebody. So basically, it don't matter. if you don't pass it, you taking it. That's ours. <laughs> pass the torch. That's, we that's why it. we it's never. Crazy. That's why we never hooked up. We never borrowed nothing. We never got no gloves. We never went to the party. We never been to nobody's brunch. We never did lunch. We never did none of that. Right. It was all business with everybody. If you want to do business, you knew all the while you was coming for that spot. Absolutely. It's only one spot. But Devin, and that's and that's on the Mount Rushmore of boxing, not just one world title. I mean, we've done undisputed. We've done what no one fighter has done in history is to go over across the pond, become undisputed, come back, defend undisputed, and then come back and fight uh, pound for pound a uh, fighter and, and Lomachenko. So what do, what do you say to people that's got a glimpse of that one little glimpse of of um the Javante and Tank, I mean Javante and Devin sparring, and they said, "Well, if he, if that the niggas was moving fast, all you got to do is go on my Instagram, Bill Haney, and you're gonna see it slow down, and it ain't nothing. It ain't well, nothing." A, a good point that you brought up though is that uh, this is in that footage, and like I said, I'm not jumping in you guys' business. You know, for you, y'all guys been doing this yeah. since preteens. It's a grown man against a kid still. A yeah. professional gets an amateur because if, if Devin's 16. But yeah. that ain't the rules. That wasn't the rules when we okay. signed that and we put the money. The rules was it was doghouse rules. You go till you stop, mm -hmm. and that's it. The fighter got to quit or the, or the team got to jump in and stop it. Right. A.B. jumped out with, on, on some goofy time. One thing I can say about A.B. is, is you didn't see him on TV, but you don't know Goofy until you actually experience Goofy. <laughs> you call an A.B. Goofy? 
I just said when you haven't experienced Goofy <laughs> until you didn't experience Goofy from AB personally. AB is me, gonna be give livid me, over there. Give me an example. What do you of, mean livid? Uh, I'm saying this, but have he, he probably ain't did no goofy shit to you, so he would be a he would be upset if I you said that. I haven't met him in person. So okay, yeah. see, Wait, so with example, me, he didn't did the goofy with me, so he is just strictly. I'm telling the truth, <laughs> Mace. The man jumped in the ring. We didn't bet the money. Now, that's what I'm saying with some Harlem guys, right? Yeah. So you're gambling of any kind. Yeah. So we, here's the rules. We gambling, and then we said, okay, this is what's going to happen. We gonna, they're going to they're gonna spar and, until one of them quits. A.B. is on that side of them. He jumps in the ring talking about he's saving us, and you betting against us. I said, mm-hmm. nigga, if you don't get your ass up out of there, hit the ring. Yeah. They stopped it, though. See, so Dev is looking at him on the thing, right? We want our money. No, Dev is looking at him like, what is you doing? And then they stopped the clip. Because you know Eddie. They stopped the clip. And then they clicked back to some other shit. So the one punch, you see the first punch where you see him hit, that was when I got out the ring and they said, okay, y'all start back. So they used the start back shot as the first jab. Gotcha. Man, niggas so, playing so games. Some mean, so mean, so mean editing, basically. Mean. No, listen. When you, got a hundred, when you got a minute and 40, when you got a minute and 40 and you're a content creator and you're doing anything like that, any clip, mm-hmm. to have any credibility, you can't have a minute and 40 with eight different clips and then saying that it's, it's anything other than a highlight film. Yeah. And I'm, I respect that. I respect because they can put out a highlight film. But then also, let's take a look at the highlight film. Let's slow it down and see how much damage the great mighty, mighty Tank Davis did. And I said, well, then that's unfair, my dude. If you look at it and you're saying, well, y'all got money up and it don't look like, you know what I mean? Because it's anything less than what you saw, then it's probably not Tank Davis. So when you when Devin gets in there, it's got to be all that. If it's not the rough housing and all the shit, then it's not Tank Davis. Right. So I'm saying, so when he's saying you're saving us from Tank Davis, well, then why do you have us in the ring with him at anyway? You yeah. see what I'm saying? Right. So, dude, in that video, is there, is there any part of it where Devin is punishing him in that video? The one that they released? No, I mean, in, in the sparring. Oh, yeah. Well, well, the part he punished him is when we got the money, right? When we won the money, right? Yeah. And then I took the money and I doubled it, flipped it, tripled it, bought a house and a plane. And listen, I'm still <laughs> living off of it. <laughs> I'm still living off of it, Ken. <laughs> 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 Yo, Bill is from Harlem. This spin cycle is crazy. This spin cycle is crazy, I swear, I swear to God, and this is without, this ain't even no cap for uh, with Bill just being here. I said, because I got my niggas and all. I said, them the only niggas that might, that might be better could keep up with us talking yeah. is the Oakland niggas. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> them niggas, hey. so my man, my man from <laughs> Oakland, my man Chief talk fast. <laughs> he talk greasy for us. Hey, hey yeah, yeah. No, it, 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 it's a pleasure. Like, and I, I, I ran here, you know what I'm saying, with you guys, because I already knew. Yeah. Ain't nobody going, you know what I'm saying? You can't come up here playing. It is what it is with y'all, with some real Harlem niggas. And I'll tell you, Anytime you do some business on heavyweight business, if it ain't a guy in there from New York, nigga, you ain't getting no money. There you go. Yeah, so that I want to come up right. here, nigga. I want to come up here and pass the message, for real. What's the message? Man, for him to stop playing, Cam, for real. Stop playing, <laughs> listen, or move out the way. And that's the only thing, when you was doing, no, when you was doing your shit, you like, look. Yeah. If you really ain't fucking with it, you ain't really spending time with this craft, then why is you running this shit up to the program director? Why is you passing this shit to the yeah. DJ if you ain't got no passion about it? It's really not what you standing by, right? Mm-hmm. That's the only thing that we say is that we stand by what we own right now. That's all. Let me ask you a question. Well, before I want to get to some boxing questions. Before I get to the boxing questions, let me ask you one more question uh, outside of your son's career. Yeah. What happened with you and Bernard Hopkins? Because we only see the footage. We have no idea. We see y'all pushing each other. We see it all for you to come to the back. You follow them to the back. What actually happened between you two that led to that? Bernard, um, so I, I approached Bernard and, and about Oscar De La Hoya and the Golden Boy promotions, but I did the right thing, and I was thinking is to speak to Bernard, you know, mm-hmm. and then run it through him just from a cultural standpoint. Right. And him as a brother, you know what I'm saying? I said, man, let me take Dev to him and let you go – 
And he was like, like, who are you talking to? Like, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me, I'm watching the fight. I said, this nigga here is different. Yeah, right. Right? Right. So I went, well, before that pause, he said, he said, fighters today aren't like fighters of old. I said, Bernard, what do you mean fighters aren't like that? I said, when you were, you were in prison at 25 years old, 24, 23. You know what I'm saying? You had committed some kind of cat burglary or armed burglary, some kind of petty crime. You know what I mean? You wasn't getting no <laughs> bunch of money. <laughs> he was a cat burglar. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Why y'all yeah. What did I say? Cat well, burglar is <laughs> yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 Well, that, I, maybe he got mad about that. I don't know. But I, that's what I said. I'm just going on what I said. So That's so, probably why he wanted to fight maybe. right there. Maybe. What did I say, though? <laughs> you think about it, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. hypothetically, he was might have been a cat burglar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hypothetic. <laughs> <Sneaky> thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so no, my but, bad, sorry. but okay, so what I'm saying is is before you do that, because I'd have been to prison, I'd have been to juvenile hall, yeah, I'd have been shot, I'd have been all the shit. So I don't know who gonna brag about that shit. Yeah. Every street nigga I know, as soon as you jumped off the porch, you realize you made a mistake. Mm -hmm. So and anytime you end up in a penitentiary and you come out bragging to other people about the penitentiary, nigga, you capping. So <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said to be out. I said, I said, stall the young man out, man. Yeah. The man had been running, training. You know what I'm saying? The man, um, he didn't go for none of that fried ice cream that niggas was bringing him about. If you sign with them and you know get rid of your whole team and fuck with this team, we go, you gonna have success. He like, well, I got a team. Let's come together. They says, no, nah, you need to. You know what I mean? He said, nah, I'm going to stay down. So by him staying down, he got all the original members, all the stuff. You know, he, he don't owe nobody. He's never been in a contract dispute with no one, right? Mm -hmm. I said, damn, Brent, Bernard, you're not going to give him his, his gramps? He done been undisputed. He done been, you still talking this shit about an old era, and all this is like a, a guy saying to y'all, new music ain't like the old music, man. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. What you think we gonna say? Right. Yeah. And I'm, and, and you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm, I'm part of the, the business day. of producing yeah. Absolutely. this kid. So right. I'm, yeah. I'm like, nigga, if you don't get out of here. Right. I said, um, I said, you sound like, uh, cause then now by this time, I'm talking to Oscar, yeah. right, around him. Mm -hmm. And now he's looking at me like Samuel L. Jackson from the Django. Yeah. <laughs> he said, who is that nigga on that map? <laughs> How much is you paid for the right nigga? <laughs> and all I can see is the steam coming off him yeah. looking at me, right? And I'm looking at Oscar. I'm looking at him. I'm like, I'm a free nigga, man. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, you're a yeah, free nigga. <laughs> free nigga. Free nigga yeah. man. <laughs> oh. That's crazy. So basically, you tried to say, look, and just clean cut, just for the audience purposes, yeah. you tried to go and say, we both black. Let me holler at you so you could go holler at this yes, nigga. Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Basically, and you sitting here on some, today's fighters ain't like the old fighters, basically. Right. So like, to me, which, which to me, that is kind of old school. We coming directly to you. I ain't making a call. Yeah. I ain't saying no lawyers, I ain't saying no man. I'm coming to holler at you. And you acting crazy, so let me go holler at your boss. Yes. And he got mad at that. Yeah. Yes. That's that's I great. mean, you know, you can't you don't know exactly what he got mad at, but all I was doing, I was doing an interview and I heard and the motherfucker came and whispered in my ear, right? And you know how your hair stand up and he said, Come to the bathroom. I said, What in the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he said, <"Hey>, nigga. No, <laughs> no, I didn't mean to. Yeah, but I haven't been there that long. I but that long. I said, <laughs> I said, I said, hey man, you know, you know, get out where you get mad at. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like if if you it's that mad, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Because right here, you know, and I think that you're really trying to. I didn't finally got here, my son. You you trying to take the shine, man? I'm doing an interview. I'm talking to Oscar, and you talking about go to the bathroom. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I said, well, shit, man. He said, yeah, you ain't gonna come. So I. Walked that way. I said, come on, man. Yes. And then he, he he turned back around, bumped into me because he said, not that bathroom. He said, go to this this other bathroom. So I, I go to him. 
I'm walking with him to go to the bathroom, and you know, I'm a street nigga. By that time, I figured out what I was gonna do to him. Because at first, I didn't really know. But by that time, the second, because he didn't have his shit together. He said, come here, come here. I said, okay, I got this nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's Bernard Hopkins. Right. But you let a nigga think, right? right? I said, I got him. Right. Or at least I, in my mind, right. I think I got a shot right. at the shit. But at first, I was like, man, where's he coming from with this shit? Right. But, and then, as we're walking, you know, I'm expecting when we get to the bathroom, he gonna do the Philly shell or something. The <laughs> nigga, before we got there, he did the Philly push, or at least it, I call it the Philly push now because yeah. he pushed off, but he didn't touch me, but he looked at me, and I said, "Oh man, that shit is nothing." Yeah, he pumped. Did you say? Yeah, it was, a, it was. Yeah, it was. Maybe let's call it the Philly pump. <laughs> what was you gonna fake. do yeah, to the, the nigga though? Fake, what did, huh? what did it's you? Called, <laughs> nigga said it's called the Philly pump fake. <laughs> <laughs> the Philly pump fake. Well, I guess. Well, what was you gonna do? What I was gonna do? I, I, well, right now I don't know if I might have to do it, so I don't want to yeah, say yeah. what I'm. You know what I mean? <laughs> let me just. Yeah, it, but let somebody me just keep else. Because the Philly pump fake is crazy. Yeah, but hopefully I don't. You know, hopefully I don't got to use it. I don't got to do it because. This, that's not what this is about. And I told, yeah. him, I told him at that point in time, there was nothing that you couldn't do to me that I'm not prepared to do in a, as a father. And I said that I was prepared to go to jail or hell for my son. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Look, you brought up a few times uh, uh, your son being undisputed at 135. Is this something that you want to do at 140? Because 140 is kind of stacked. Uh, is it just big fights and you want to move on from there, or do you want to be undisputed at 140 as well? Well, of course. Um, being undisputed at 140, it, it, it does have um, you know, a ring to that. Um, Terrence Crawford is the two-time undisputed. I think he's, what, 35 years old mm -hmm. um, right now. Um, Devin you know, is 24. Being, one, being undisputed now and then being two-time undisputed, damn near, you got almost 10 years to break the record of the last man who's, who holds the record. Um, right. So, you know, um, getting the right fights, doing the right shit, right? Because they, when we when we fighting and we, the belts, they said the belts didn't matter after we got all of them. Didn't y'all hear something about that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> when you get them, they don't matter. We, we ain't mean nothing. Then, so when we got them, we start looking for the money. They says, oh, you're looking for money now. It, before they said, you can't get the money. Right. See, this big, this fight with Ryan Garcia was the, it was a fight that everyone said we couldn't get. Yeah. And especially being an independent. On a mm -hmm. one off. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like, we don't, we have a one fight deal, and then we're back independent to do whatever, you know, we do to, to for Devin to get to the Mount Rushmore boxing. Got you. Now, I don't know if this is a big enough fight for you guys, but this guy's been calling y'all out and he's dangerous. What do you think about Matias? The one armed bandit, Matias himself. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's been calling, but I mean, I, after the fight with, uh, with Regis Progra, I called out to his management team, right? Because I said, hey. I said, good morning, senor. Hey, this is Bill Haney. <laughs> and guess what? You know what I mean? It's your lucky day, baby. You know what I'm saying? I said, look. I said, you got the first call since Devin beat Regis Progra. And then he said, click. I said, hello? 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 <laughs> and then I called... I called back, nobody answered, and I called a guy, and he says, he hung up on you because he doesn't want all that loud talk. I said, hey, man, this is the way I get down, right? So they put us back together. They right. put Because I'm excited, right? right, I mean, right. It's a good yeah, time right. to be alive. Yeah. So I, we, they put us back together. Coach Panda, shout out Coach Panda, who is Coach Matias' uh, uh, coach, put us all on the phone, and it, the, it was on a Tuesday. And I said, come on, man, let me know the number that he wants. You know what I'm saying? So we can get this money together. Right. He said, uh, uh, I said, well, shit, y'all been looking for us now. Y'all got to know the number, right? right? Mm -hmm. He told me he was going to call me back on Saturday. I said, God damn. So it's Tuesday. You want me to wait till Saturday? He said, okay, I'm going to call you back on Saturday. Man, I ain't heard from them people yet. I hear him. I hear, no, I hear about them in, like you hear about them. Mm -hmm. But this motherfucker right here. You know Niggas I mean? don't be you going them, through with the business. Yeah, you tell me about somebody that then said, I'm looking for Bill Haney about Devin. Not I'm looking for Twitter and I'm looking to, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's cool too. Right. That's cool that you get out and do that, but you got to also apply that pressure yeah. on this end. You know what I'm saying? Right. To want to do good business. Got you. But shout out to the one-armed bandit, yeah, the left-hand man himself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So He been talking you know, a little reckless. He been talking reckless. He Isn't say it? one or two. He say one or two words. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. The one or two words is is 
is fight worthy. Yeah. The actual word you said. I don't know why that's fight worthy. I called them Bama's out in Baltimore, yeah, and you no, won't say that's fight worthy. No, you, you are the best prom promotion. I didn't. You are one of the best promotion <laughs> I've seen in a long, long time. <laughs> in a long time. And when I tell people Appreciate about you, you yeah, definitely. Because yeah. it's not like it isn't your son. But yes. at, the, at the same time, y'all got a good chemistry yes. because he may not be as outspoken as you, and everything you're talking about is a fact. It's your son, you, what, you raised him. Um, Love the way you sliding away from them Bamas out of Baltimore. Did he, Cam? Did he do a good you job? You want to fight? Did he do a good job, Cam? Yeah, yeah. He slid in Cam, the one arm. Cam bandit. don't want to fight. He, hey, listen. He slid on. Uh, wait, wait, Cam. He slid the one arm bandit in and opened up the side door for Mighty Mouse to walk out. The Bamas and them down there in Baltimore. Yeah, I came on. It is what it is. Where else could you get this shit off at? Yeah. <laughs> so how bad do y'all want the Javante fight? Um, you know, that's the fight that the people want. That's yeah, the we fight want, that, okay, that's the right, fight. That's right, the right, right, right. fight we really want. So, right. So once you put the bullseye on the fighter's back, right? Then that's all. That that's the fight. That the legacy defining fight. That's the money fight because that's what the people do. It ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Once you say that dude ain't the dude, and it's this dude, just like with bruh. He said, "What's up with Matias?" So now they're putting the the bullseye on Matias back for shit he didn't say it. And I said, "Okay, but let's hold old boy accountable too, the guy from Baltimore, for everything that he didn't said as well." You know what I mean? That's that's only right. It's like a Bruce Lee karate flick, Camp. You know what I'm saying? We start with one, we get through another one, and then here come, there's here Kareem Abdul-Jabbar walk out. You remember that joint? <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that joint? Yeah. Camp, you don't remember that joint? And then got through this stage, and then Kareem walk out. <laughs> and before you get to Tank, <laughs> that's, that's Matias. You know that's Mace, right? And I'm kidding. Uh, excuse, 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 excuse me. You know, I, you know, it's all you good. Know, it's yeah. all good. It's all good. Yeah. We ain't tripping. So yeah. where, where's the beef? Where the besides? Okay, we already know where it comes from with um with Tank and Devin, but it seems like it's personal between you and Calvin. Also, his uh, um Tank's coach. Is it? Man, I told Coach. I told. Coach, I told for those that don't know, I told Coach Tank. Calvin is Tank's coach. So I'm just for our yeah. audience. And I said, listen, ain't no way your fighter going to be checking the money that y'all talking about checking and Calvin going to be looking like that. I told Tank <laughs> them, I told Tank them <laughs> to pay him. I told him to pay him because, or we need to go on coaches strike around this motherfucker <laughs> because ain't no way Bill should be getting paid and Calvin shouldn't. And Calvin need to thank Bill for mentioning this shit. So, <laughs> yeah, so, so. you saying Calvin ain't getting paid? Yo, he said he, ain't no reason <laughs> Calvin yeah. should be looking the way he's looking <laughs> if they making all this money. Now, that's the thing. They talk all that money talk. Can't be one nigga looking good and the rest of the crew that's if true. you getting thoroughbred money. You know Say what I'm talking that about? again. Yeah. So if you guys fought each other... um, meaning Tank and Devin, would you be okay being the B side? Yes, oh absolutely. The A side is, is you know, A, I don't want to fight. You know what I mean? A, mm -hmm. give me this, give me that. And really that's not the way that you come up in boxing. Mm -hmm. When you come up in boxing, you, you're trying to get the right opponent to develop your career. Right. It's the same way we look at it on Devin's quest to, to, to make the Mount Rushmore boxing, is that you still got to work with the guy to get him in the ring because he's scared to death, right. you dig? Right. So, I mean, I know Tank going to play the A-side, you know what I mean? Right. But, yeah, we're going to put that B-side butt whooping on him if he get in the <laughs> ring, you dig? <laughs> Period. It's all just money at this point in time, you know what I mean? Devin got that new um, that new uh, Virgil. He got the big 4 by 4 mm -hmm. He got that uh, he got that Harley, um, he got that um, Rolls Royce truck. You know what I mean? He got that new, that big Lambo. He got the mansion. Like, so, I mean, at this point in time, I mean, how much more money and how much more fly shit he need? He, he constantly buying diamonds to girls. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now we doing this shit. No, we doing this right. shit for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We doing it for real now. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, right. you know, I already got that part. You know what I'm saying? In the life. So, like I said, the only thing that can motivate you is to get to the Mount Rushmore boxing. 
because it can't be a car, it can't be any of that if, right. you, if you get millions in one night. Absolutely. Now, it was a rumor going around that you guys was- The dollar bill started. Yeah, well, y'all y'all might move up to 147 to fight Boots. Is that true? That was circulating later No, around. I said, do you know who Dollar Bill is? You ain't been watching my videos? Floyd. Uh, Floyd. Yeah, the yeah. dollar bill start the rumor about boots, but because listen, okay, that's why I said it's because the dollar bill. Okay, the dollar I'm, bill. I'm just like, no, no, I, okay, I, 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 I'm okay. Not, okay. <laughs> what, did, did, now, what I'm saying is Players because boots, club. But yes, mm -hmm. and boots is a hell of a talent, and he's deserving of his shot the way that Devin is. So to come in and smash them them cars together, I mean, if that's all that's on the table, I mean, if everybody, you know what I mean, and I said with boots. Just like with Shakur, just like with Tank, you know what I mean. Boots need that right person to pull up on him and give him that shot, that right B side, that A side, or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, just like Devin is looking for that right fight. You know what I mean? Um, so I think the boxing community wants to instead pit them. They be asking us about Boots. They asking us about Crawford. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm getting and, what's going on. It's yeah, like you know it's so saying? many other fighters. That could be fighting. Niggas is just throwing other names so you don't deal with them. Right, respectfully. And then the thing that I say about that is, is that allows to show you, you know what I'm saying? And and, and show Cam how great Dev is right now. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all ain't crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I pulled up here. Because I'm saying is, you got the text and all the shit. When you looked over there, I knew that had to have been a nigga with me. Because it wasn't no nigga with them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, believe that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what's yeah. up. But let huh. me ask, well, go ahead, make sure I saw this. Nah, go ahead. So, to me, this, this, camp, this is Cam, Shirley Cam. Okay. It was a lot of interest about maybe this time last year about your son and Shakur. Your son Shakur. Looked like Shakur was trying to pull up everywhere your son was at. Sending bottles over to his table trying to bait them into a fight, so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah, but the bottles had a note on it that said sign a contract and it wasn't no contract. Right. And the bottles wasn't, it wasn't loyalty, it wasn't a brand from, you know, big bruh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. right. So you sent some bullshit over, right. you know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you send over, you know? Right, Because no. some of the real gentlemen would have <clears throat> popped some of them bottles and we'd have sent a thank you back yeah. to, to, to bro, you know what right. I'm saying? Right. But being that you sent the Moet, <laughs> Or the, I mean, that look, the, the small green bottle, you know, the one that you don't, what's that one? The, the, the you know, Chardon? The Chardon? Like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, that, that yeah, one. I think that, it was the, the, the cheap one. It yeah, was the yeah, one. yeah, the cheap one. Yeah, so he <laughs> sent one. Drinking that Chardon. And, and, listen, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, and he sent one. Chardonnay. Yeah, he sent one. Right. And, yeah. and you know, listen, that's the thing about, I said, I love to come on here because real Harlem niggas yeah, ain't going to yeah. do it. You're not going to send one bottle and yeah. say you're trying to do a fight way from over there and not at least either come over Dap a nigga up or send a bunch of bottles. Yeah, send, send some ten chicks. bottles of Ace ten. and say, let's do it big. Let's do That's it what big. I'm talking about. My, my nice. thing is, I wasn't even getting to that. It wasn't really even about the bottles for me, but I, I was just giving an interlude of what I was trying to get to. So it seemed like he was trying to troll um, your son here, being there, being there. Publicity stunts. That's what I was calling. I said there was a publicity stunt when he came out the ring and then said that he wanted Dev and then text Dev and 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 said I they made me do it. While I was like, dog, like we've been doing this shit for 17 years, dog. We serious about this shit. Right. I got a daughter and a son that both play tennis. Mm -hmm. If I need help with some lies, come help me on the tennis court every morning at seven. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. This shit we really put in work. You right. know what I mean? Absolutely. So I, I really don't I really ain't for nobody capping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I said if I'm saying something wrong, then they can Pull up. They can when they when 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 this get through getting aired, yeah. they can say, bring that nigga back up here, man. We're gonna right. cook him. We're gonna sit across like gentlemen and we're gonna talk about this shit. I think that's the appropriate way when you got platforms like this. Before when you only had Sports Illustrated, you had New York Times and, yeah, I and it was being controlled. Yeah. Right? They were like, they would say, um, well, we don't know how to we get it out because this person, you know, they would have bullshit. Right. Absolutely. But with you guys, yeah, you know what I'm saying? This right. is this is it, man, for real. Right. I still didn't get to what I was going to ask. So what I was saying was that since since then, let's just move past it. I was just trying to give an interlude of what was going on. To me, Shakur, didn't, he, he, he looked below average his last fight. It, it was terrible to where me personally, and I think he's a great fighter, but his last fight didn't make me want to see his next fight. As opposed to, yes, son's last fight looked 
outstanding. He beat the shit out the nigga. So I was like, I want to see more Devin, and I'm not sure about Shakur. Being that your son looked so good in his last fight, and Shakur didn't look that great in his last fight, if you guys win this fight that's coming up, would Shakur still be an option, or do you think you surpass that? Um, it, it's not about surpassing anything. It's about it. are you going to do good business? Are you going to do what it takes? Or are you going to just go to social media? You know what I mean? Right. It's like we've been knowing each other for so long. And just like with you guys with music, it's like, damn, dog, why you didn't just hit me before you did the diss track? You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, why you go to the record company to try to do something when you could have just called me? You know right. what I'm saying? And that's the whole thing. Gotcha. That he keep going. He keep going to there, and he's never called. He's never just said to everybody, "Man, I didn't did everything to try to make the fight happen, legitimately, reasonably, and respectfully." You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, especially when you guys have a relationship. Already. Yes, sir. Yes, gotcha. sir. So, are you saying that he doesn't want the fight? What I'm saying Shakur? is that he that he hadn't did anything to really show that he really wanted to fight to me, right? Because when I put something on the table to him for him that I thought that he was was more than what he should have been gotten. Because it should have been a flat fee. You come and say, you know what I mean? Um, Y'all getting some money over there. You got the people. Give me a fee. Like we got when we went to Australia. Yeah. We went to Australia one time. Then we went to Australia again. Then we fought Lomachenko. Well, that's a three-fight deal just to become undisputed. Yeah. When we're giving you an opportunity to become undisputed with one fight, why not take the same pay that we took to go to Australia? Gotcha. I mean, it's, it's, it's the business is easy when you want to. When you, you want to fight. Do, when you want to fight. You know what I'm saying? And they taught me the business by fucking over us. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right? They And then you learn it and you say, okay, well, and you say, is this how it goes? And then they say, yeah. They say, when you get there, you're going to see. But this is how it goes. You got to do it right now. And then when we do it, and then they act like the deal isn't cookie cutter. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Just reverse it back. Put Dev in the position that he was George. Put Shakur in the position he was Dev. What are we talking about here? It's easy. You got more questions? Yeah. yeah. No, good. I got yeah, a couple. Just, I got a couple more. I just yeah. didn't, stack keeps looking at me like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to ask regarding the press conference. I know that you and Ryan Garcia's dad had a lot of back and forth, and a lot of people are upset about the nappy headed comments he made to you. So, do you have anything in response to say to that? And then, how did you just feel about that in general? Well, I mean, he would be na say nappy because he's jealous because he he has that toupee. We call it the <laughs> Shea toupee. Yeah. <laughs> Available in Turkey. You did, <laughs> but you, but you, yeah, but you gotta have that back. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, and you have the promo code Dollar Bill. <laughs> You get the, wait, wait, wait. So you get the toupee from Turkey? That's where you go get it? No, Turkey. 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 Yeah. Toupee, we call it yeah. Shea, and it's from Turkey. Yes. But you use the promo code Dollar Bill. Yeah. And you can pay full price for the top and get half off the beard. <laughs> I got two more questions. I'm not sure if makes okay. Now, I know you guys don't look past any fight. There's no box yeah. of shit. But let's just say, do you have a schedule for the rest of the year that you want or the next few fights? Do you have a vision well, moving that's, forward? That's, that's something that you can't do, obviously, in boxing because you can't play boxing. It's not, right. You play basketball. You play football. Mm -hmm. But um, with boxing, shit, it, I mean, that guy, Matias, that you're talking about, you know, he didn't kill the man in the ring. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I mean. This ain't this ain't no play play shit. Right. We got Brian Garcia who has a dangerous left hook. You know what I mean. Uh, he's a 15 time uh, amateur national champion. And one thing that I say about him, he's a fighter posing as a TikToker, not a TikToker posing as a fighter. So we take him very serious. And if for one minute you think that he's a TikToker and you prepare for a TikToker, you're gonna fuck around and run into that left hand. So you know what I mean. We want we're not distracted. A little bit irritated. Mm -hmm. We ain't distracted. Gotcha. And my last question, I'm not sure if Mason has any more questions. What do you think about if Dana White came into boxing? Do you think he would make it better? Um, 
I mean, he would definitely bring more structure mm -hmm. to it. But I mean, I don't know if he's coming with those pay cuts because mm -hmm. he, you know, he's legendary for saying that with organization and structure, boxers should shouldn't be getting as much as they're getting. And I could be wrong about that because I don't want to say that about Dana because I got a lot of respect for what he's done in the UFC. So I know that he could bring uh, organization. I know that he can bring venues and arenas. But um, where he thinks that fighters might be getting paid more than they should might be up for debate with me and him. Gotcha. Because, you know, I think that there, this is a sport that, man, like one night is a bad night. And you see all the fighters of, of yesteryear with um, the CTE and all these things. So this ain't nothing to play with, man. I mean, I think that those kids, um, those young men, I should say, they deserve everything that they're getting in the ring. Absolutely. Yeah, let me ask the questions just to take it off of Devin for for a second. If if you if there was a fight between Tank and Shakur, who wins and why? Um, based on that last performance, like you know what I'm saying, Cam has said is that um I would have to lean towards Tank in that fight, you know, um, and you're kind of as good as your last performance, um, so yeah, I would probably lean more towards towards Tank in that in that fight. And before that fight, who you who you? Who uh, you I had it, I had it more closer, but then I probably still went with um, with Tank because of the things I know about Shakur. I know a lot about both of them from being in the ring with them, and, and mm -hmm. Styles make fights. I don't think that um, Tank will have any kind of respect for um, Shakur, and by Shakur, the style that Shakur has, he's set right there. He half step back. Maybe, you know what I mean? He's still right there. Mm -hmm. I think with Tank not having the respect for Dev, Dev still having the feet to not respect him. Yeah. Back. You know what I mean? Good, good. Well, Bill, thank you so much for coming, man. We appreciate it. No, I, before we leave, we yeah, didn't get okay. a chance to talk about Lomachenko. And okay. guess what? We okay. did. Okay. We sorry, we, sorry. Listen, we dusted off but, Regis Pro Gray yeah. for Cam himself because no. Cam said it. Yeah, no, no, Cam, Cam said it. So <laughs> it I hope, listen, and I hope, and I listen, and I hope that you enjoyed the Regis Pro Gray fight because we listen and we listen to Dev. Listen, now the thing about the thing about that is, is that, um. Lomachenko is a tough fighter, you know what I'm saying? And um, if he wanted to win, I believe that Dev started in the first round, the way Dev started in the first round, he finished in the 12th round. So for that, to me, just that alone, at that level, that elite level, when you really want it, Dev then went and did everything that he did, and he's giving you a shot, then come in the first round, and finishing the 12th round. Right. And to me, everything that's in the middle is a whole lot of drama, mm -hmm. but I for surely believe that the way Devin started, he was able to finish. Same thing from round one to round 12, basically. Round, round one saying. to round 12, you gotcha. know what I'm saying? And gotcha. it's the same way with um with the sparring, or you know what I mean? It's the same thing, like, okay, I'll give you an example, is the fight is, is, is Dev is getting off on him, and then Loma makes that late surge where Loma is saying is, what Dev said is, okay, he didn't caught on to what we're doing, right? Now, I'm saying good because now if he thinks that you're doing that, then counter that. Make him think that, okay, that's his, now we got to counter for that. Right. So, I, so <clears throat> with everyone not understanding, right, because when you're in front of, when, you, when I'm sitting dead in front of you just like this, mm -hmm. you got... 50% of the chance that you're going to do 50 over here. But if I stand over here and I take this angle from right here, it's only that hand that we're worrying about. And in Lomachenko's case, because it's a great team in the Lomachenko team, Papachenko, they have prepared for Devin's jab because he having the best jab and they want to come over the top of the jab. Right. So I said, I said, Dev, what would be amazing is as a young fighter, you were able to do what they didn't, they don't think that you're going to come and, and do. So they never prepared for that. Devin to work the body work, for him to throw the brick, for him not to use his jab. Because they said, all you're going to do is jab, grab, and run. Right. So I'm saying is, well, God damn. To all that, but before that, and mm -hmm. for Devin at that age to stand in front of the ring, in the middle center of the ring with the great Vasil Lomachenko and start in the center and then finish, it's like this. 
when I was young, now not now. The police is behind you and you look up in the rearview mirror and it's smaller and smaller and smaller and that's what Lomachenko did. He was on us and the 12th round, we looked up in the rearview mirror and he was gone. <laughs> no, Bill, Bill, you know, no, no, Bill. Bill, we no, invite thought, him, Bill. No, Bill back. can come back wherever you want, but I like Bill watch the show. He said, hold the fuck on. We're going to talk about the Lomachenko thing because yeah. you see what I said. I, apparently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I talked to a lot of people about that, and I'm talking about people who love boxing. I'm a casual boxing fan, um, of course, because of my uncle. But everybody I talked to, because I, I did say that I thought Lomachenko won the fight, but everybody I spoke to said, Cam, you got to go watch the fight again. Yes. He said, my man Sin is a super big, super duper boxing fan. It's like four or five people, because they've seen it as well. They said, Cam, you got to go watch it a second time, which I haven't done yet. Yes. Yeah. But it's like, if you watch it a second time, Devin beat Lomachenko. So I have to go see it again. But you saying that, I'm happy you watching the show. And you no, no, I love, I'm a big fan. No, no, I'm I a big appreciate fan. that, man. No, I'm a big fan of you guys Definitely. and your, just Thank your you. transition Absolutely. to where you guys are and how, how and, it, and it resonates with us so much that you guys just don't understand. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's like, it's like when you when you see someone win a Grammy, you know what I'm saying? It's like, why did they win a Grammy? Okay, so when I say I, I correlate that to why are the announcers so biased towards us? Why are the fans, you know what I mean, it's trying to sway the game? They're trying to sway a, a person, and that's why everyone says, go look at it. You know what I'm saying? Go look right, at it absolutely. again. Because those are like the the sixth man in, in basketball, the eleventh, twelfth man in football or whatever right. it is. Yeah, and refs. that's why the 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 um home court advantage and all those things play into factor. But when you have three judges, right, um, that don't look like me, I don't have any background with them or anything like that, no past fights. Yeah. To all judge unanimous for Dev. Then, and that's what they get paid. I said, well, because it, it wasn't like a split or anything right. like that. Right. But to earn, no, but to earn, to respect is earned. And you know what I mean? Not giving in boxing. So to come back and pitch that shut out on Regis Progray and you to say, <laughs> you love it. I said, I got to go. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it's a, it's yeah. a fact. Now I'm glad you watched You said, hold the fuck yeah, on, Jay. Yeah, 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 we're going to talk about, about Logan Logan Chico. Chico. <laughs> I see what you said. But well, thank you, man. Well, I'm gonna make sure I watch the fight again. Is there anything else you want no, to check us for mixing up your names? Because y'all, to, like together as a unit, you guys are amazing. So it be feeling like when I'm talking to one, I'm talking to the other, oh, even no, though it's not. from two different perspectives. We yeah. the same, guys are. We the same, I know nigga. y'all the same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same, yeah. Is there anything else that you no. want to talk to us about that we may have said that we missed out? No, on. no. As long as we ain't heard, nobody was looking for us. And we ain't talked about them, then we covered everybody. You take what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. And um, by all means, man, I love how it, do, man. How do we get our hands on that tape of you and um, Dev and Floyd? Well, I think it's in Dollar Bill's office in one of those cabinets. Because <laughs> we don't have it. And we, were, we were, you know, we were, I mean, I won't say we were frisked before we went in there. But, I mean, they didn't want us to have any phones. And, and Because if we would have had it, of course, we would have made our own high life film. What I was able to do was slow it down and make a highlight film out of their highlight film by saying, damn, look at this kid at 16 slipping shots and rolling shots and, and still adapting and, you know what I mean, getting hit with shots and still there. And then, of course, Adrian Broner got in and did the monkey move that he did. The, I mean, excuse me, bonehead Where's move. Where's A.B. at, killer? Baby, yesterday he was drinking. I called him the other day. His phone was off. I don't know if I need to send him something <laughs> or not. I don't know. Hey, B, I don't know. He said his phone was off. <laughs> it was the phone was off. So. Would, would that be a fight you'd be interested down the line? Oh, I, hell you know, yeah. Because you, know, yeah. you know what's funny is that I see it was, yo, you, 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 you yeah. I know everything you're saying is legit. You mean it, but you're very funny. I seen a clip where you were saying, AB could come to the next fight if he want to sell popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> or if he wants to be in the ringside. Or, or yeah, so yeah, on yeah. and so forth. Because you, know, you know why? Because AB has experience at events. He's seen it from all perspectives. So right. he wants to come in and work our event and do some of them things <laughs> until he can get a shot at it. Because when we listen. AB going to come back with a vengeance on this, Bill. I hope you know man, that. We've been on AB's bumper for so long, man. We made a shirt. 
It, you know what I mean? And A.B. was on it. But the thing about it is A.B. didn't give us a shot. I won't do A.B. like that. If the time presented itself and Dev, inshallah, finishes with Ryan Garcia and that opportunity, A.B. is a big name. Adrian Broner on Devin's resume. And one more step towards a Mount Rushmore boxing. Mm. And that could possibly be it. Well, Bill, it was a pleasure to have you on the show today. Absolutely, Queen. Thank you for having me. Also, let's not forget the fight. We're going to call it All the Smoke. All the (laughs) Smoke. All the Smoke because it's on 420 in the Barclay Center. Uh, Devin Haney against Ryan Garcia. Make sure y'all get your tickets. Your pay-per-view is going to be crazy. Hopefully, I'll be in the building. And uh, it's going to be really crazy. Pay-per-view on the zone. Yes. So I want to, that'll be pay-per-view on the zone. Of course, it's like um, Bill. Matter of fact, you 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 let the people know where it's at. Okay. This your camera right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. you know, t- tune in uh, four twenty, uh, April twentieth. All the smoke, the one that counts. Pay per view live on the zone at the Barclays Center. A ticket still available right now. It's the one that you don't want to miss. There you go. Absolutely. There you go. Yeah, Bill, appreciate you. <laughs> you more than welcome, baby. Anytime you want to come back, we appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go to break, and when we return, we will talk about the Warriors' terrible loss to the Celtics. Welcome back. Now let's get into our underdog fantasy picks of the day. Tonight, the Clippers will play the Bucks. Underdog fantasy has Giannis at 31 and a half points. Do you have him higher or lower? Maybe. Clippers versus the Bucks. Um, yeah, higher. Okay. Higher as well. Kawhi is at 26 and a half points. Do you have him higher or lower? Cam? Higher. Higher. Okay, and James Harden is at eight assists. Do you have him higher or lower, Mace? Higher. Higher. Okay, download the Underdog Fantasy app and you can make your picks too. So I'm sure we all saw that terrible game where the Warriors took a pretty bad loss to the Celtics, losing 140 to 88. The score was 82 to 38 at halftime. Thoughts on the largest loss of Steph Curry's career? Is this the the highest um loss in history? Cause this was this was really <laughs> crazy. This this was like super disrespectful. I I mean they they beat them like a nigga ran off with the work and you saw him shopping. You know, nigga owe you money and you see him with a bunch of bags coming out the mall. This was just crazy. I I I thought that I thought when when Steve Kerr took them out. I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to motivate them. He's trying to take this situation killer and say, you know what? People are forgetting about y'all. Trying to use this to motivate them. But I, I think I think this this ship is kind of sailed, honestly. This was like too bad for me. I think Steve Kerr is overrated. I'm going on a record, even though I'm wearing this blue. I think Steve Kerr is overrated. They gave him the money. But He's not going to be able to do anything with that team. I'm going on record, Stat. But when you say title town is moving, I heard you talking <laughs> behind my back. We're going to deal with it another day. Okay. <laughs> you throwing shots at me. In reference, he's talking about a post I made because I posted the receipts when they said I didn't say anything about the Celtics. But <laughs> Yeah, yes. she threw a shot at me, killer. Stick oh. to a team, yo. Both of I, y'all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Miami, the Celtics. Yeah, and she tried to say it with the green on, Killer. This, Look right. at this. Look this at is what just I'm coincidentally. I just happen to be wearing green. But you I bought, see what oh, you're so saying. You found your receipts, you said. <laughs> oh, you, put, you posted your receipts. She yes. said she's going to find it. I did, and I posted it. And I came in with the green fleece on. I missed it's coincidental. it. Coincidental. <laughs> it's a few things I took from this loss with um, the Celtics and the Warriors. Uh, firstly, I don't know what the record is, but this is be, I'm pretty sure it's a long record. The first game, and I don't know how many games Steph Curry didn't have a three-pointer. Um, that's crazy. He didn't play the whole second half, so 
Um, I dig it. Um, secondly, what I took away from it, and I know he's been hurt, and he has to keep his, you know, trying to get him back in the game. Um, game time shape is Chris Paul. Is that when they was down forty points at halftime, and Steve Kerr took it upon himself not to put Draymond, Clay Thompson, and stuff back in the game. They left Chris Paul in there. And I'm sitting there watching like Chris Paul is playing right now when they're garbage down fi- minutes. when they're down fifty points. And you're part of the garbage team. Like this is not how we want Chris Paul to go out. <laughs> like yeah. as much as we talk shit about Chris Paul and everything, to have and I know he's been hurt, so you gotta work his way back in the game time, game, game time shape. But it's like, yo, bro, that just goes to show you're not one of the good old boys from Golden State. You're not. It's yeah. us niggas, and you just got here, and get on out there. The Chris, Chris Paul about 37, yeah, they, 38. They let that he, man stay out there when niggas was down 50 points, bro. He gave Chris Ru- Rudy minutes. Yo, it was wild disrespectful. I watched it personally. I'm sitting there like, yo, niggas got Chris Paul out here down 50 while the, the main players from Golden State not even coming back out the locker room yet. Yeah, this is a future Hall of Fame. That was wild disrespectful. And the last thing that I take from them is that maybe Steve Kerr, you were on to something, not starting Clay Thompson. You, you had some victories going, a little momentum going when Clay Thompson was not starting. You start him, and you, and you lose by fifty-two. Go yeah. back to what was working the last week, and we'll figure it out from there. If I'm Golden State, but starting Clay Thompson today. Um, and I know what, what probably happened. I don't know this for a fact. I feel good, Coach. I'm, yeah, I feel I good. I feel good. I feel good. I, I'm ready. You to get back? Ready. Yeah, you back, back? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, yeah. <laughs> nigga, you see? Uh, nigga, I'm ready. And, and no, no, no. And don't get it wrong. I watched that whole game, or at least until it didn't make sense to watch anymore. Um, Golden State was just super off, and Boston was super on. Yeah. Pause. It wasn't... It was it was like it was just missed shots. Them niggas was missing, 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 and Boston I think shot sixty three percent or something yep. like that in the first quarter. So I mean, don't get me wrong, it was an off day for Golden State and it was a lovely day for Boston. But I think Steve Kerr needs to stick to last week's strategy and what was winning. And Clay Thompson starting is uh, isn't getting it done. Isn't getting and it done. I like I like the fact that Boston. Shout out to Boston. Not that they're my team or anything. I like the fact that they got up 50 points, <laughs> right? And they didn't take their foot off the gas. You know how normally you're like, yo, we being disrespectful? No, let's be more disrespectful. I like the fact <laughs> yeah. that they were very inconsiderate <laughs> of this score. Yeah. And they kept going. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like that too. Like, even like when it be like, you know, why you gonna shoot the ball with two seconds left? And yeah. it's unwritten, I'm gonna get a dunk. Un, 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 unwritten rules of people being disrespectful, supposedly. Well, do something about it. Yeah. You know, I don't like that shit when niggas be like, yo, they didn't have to make that last basket. They was already up 30. They shouldn't have been up 30. Now they're yeah. up 32. I'm not with all that show consideration. I totally <laughs> agree with Mace with that. They, it's disrespectful. We're gonna be more disrespectful. <laughs> if you're down 30 with, with six seconds left, I'm gonna try and make sure you're down 33 before the game is over. <laughs> that's just that. Do something about it. Yeah, that's so, how I felt about it. It said, "Oh, oh, you taking them niggas out? Well, good then, because we going up. We trying to go up 60." Right. I'm just gonna add that I just think the timing's crazy because they just announced that Steph is expecting his fourth child, so maybe he's just stressed out because only scoring. Four points is crazy. And then nobody scored over 10 points except Lester. So shout out Lester, but like Golden State's going to have to do better. Well, well, this isn't real quick, to so, not to cut you <laughs> yeah, off. Four, four points is crazy, but he didn't play the whole second yeah. half. Definitely would have hit a three. But still. still. Yeah, it is. It, it looks, what are you trying to see better? <laughs> it does look yeah. crazy at the box score. If you go to the box score, it looks <laughs> crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely does. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, it is what it is. Uh, Suicide. 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 Suicide.